Review, 2023 Nissan Z gets faster, softer, better looking. Please support us by pressing the like button and subscribe so that this channel will grow and provide many benefits for you, thank you. The 2023 Nissan Z only exists because of enthusiasts within the company. Backchannel dealings by sports car product chief Hiroshi Tamora and design boss Alfonso Albaiza resulted in a design beautiful enough to convince Nissan Brass it was worth continuing the Z's 53-year history. The one caveat was the new car would have to be based on the previous platform to save development costs. That left the Z team with the challenge of making the Z35 different enough from its Z34 generation predecessor while using many of the same parts. After driving the new Z on controlled lead follow laps on the infield course at Las Vegas Motor Speedway and on the road to Lake Mead National Park, I can say Nissan got that balance right. A turbo returns. The main difference becomes evident with the first stab of the throttle, more power. This generation Z has no numeric prefix, but it would be 400 if it did. The 370Z's 3.7-liter V6 that made 332 horsepower and 270 lbft of torque gives way to a twin-turbo 3.0-liter V6 that ups the ante to 400 horsepower and 350 lbft. It's the same engine that stars in the Infiniti Q50 slash Q60, and it's the first turbo in the Z since the Z32 ended its run in 1997. The new engine provides notably more thrust from a stop and sounds like a toned down but still spirited version of the thrum from the outgoing V6. A sprint exercise earlier in the day proved how much quicker the new engine makes this car than the last. Over a roughly 800-foot straight-line drag, the new Z hit 87 miles per hour with the new 9-speed automatic transmission and 85 miles per hour with the carryover 6-speed manual, both using launch control, which is a first for the Z. A 370Z with the manual only managed 77 miles per hour over the same run. That's a sizable gap. Nissan isn't quoting a 0 to 60 miles per hour time, but it's likely in the low 4 second range, compared to about 5.0 seconds for the naturally aspirated V6. I get laps in cars with both transmissions. The 9 speed shifts quickly and usually chooses the right gear for the job. However, the twin-turbo V6 revs too slowly to provide the kick of thrust on corner exit expected in a track car. Sport mode doesn't hold gears as long and its shifts aren't as rapid-fire as competitors' 8 and 10-speed automatics or dual-clutch boxes. I keep trying to grab a lower gear via the GTR-sourced shift paddles. It's the rev issue again. Rather than kick me in the pants, the V6 builds speed steadily as it approaches its 6,800 RPM redline. My, how spoiled we've become with 500 to 700 horsepower sports cars. It's not slow by any means, and you won't feel it on the street where the need for speed isn't so urgent. Otherwise, the six-speed manual is a delight. It comes standard with downshift rev matching and this year it adds no lift upshifts. It's teamed with a nicely weighted clutch with a natural take-up point and a shifter that slots easily from gear to gear. It also routes the power to the rear wheels through a carbon fiber composite drive shaft that you can brag about at cars and coffee. This is one of your last chances to get a manual transmission, folks. Don't waste it. Softer and stiffer. Through the corners of this 1.8-mile road course, the new Z feels familiar, with the same hunkered-down, agile feel of its predecessor, though it rides softer. The feel is familiar because as per Nissan's edict, much of the 370ZS engineering carries over. Nissan reinforced the platform to improve stiffness and handle the extra power of a turbocharged V6. Up front, engineers added more metal reinforcements to the crash structure, underbody, and firewall, and they redesigned the strut tower brace to work with the new engine. Out back, they used closed instead of open channel steel to ring the hatch glass and built up more metal structure. They also applied more glue throughout the vehicle and used a stronger glue to attach the windshield. As a result, the new Z has 10.9% more torsional stiffness and 23.9% more rigidity in the rear hatch area. 
With stronger bones, Nissan made suspension changes to soften the ride while also tweaking the suspension geometry. Nissan kept the double wishbone front suspension, but laid back the front caster angle from 5 to 6 degrees to improve straight-line stability. While that could slow turn-in response, Nissan countered that by stiffening the steering rack even as it switched from hydraulic to electric assist power steering. Stiffer spring rates were countered with new monotube dampers that provide greater damping control despite a 20% softer tune. In addition, engineers chose 10mm wider front tires to give the performance model more contact patch. Around this track, the Z performances 255-40 or 19 front and 275-35 or 19 rear Bridgestone Potenza S007 tires grip hard Nissan estimates 13% greater cornering G-forces as the car dutifully reacts to the way I toss it into a corner. Brake too late and carry too much speed and it wants to push rather than rotate. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.